Yeah, 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 guys. All right, guys. We are back, guys. Finally, we're back, guys. For real, right? First video we've done in a, in a couple of days. Guys, we are back. We're so back, though. And, guys, shout out to the subs. But, guys, for real, for real, shout out to all the Livies out there. I love you guys because you guys rock with the Livy. It's super heavy just like I do. So, I love you guys. Um, so, guys, I'm super hyped. I mean, guys... Like, like one tiny desk from Olivia wasn't amazing enough. We get a second one. What? What is it? Christmas early? Like, we got early Christmas, guys. This is crazy. Guys, I'm super, super hyped. You guys know how much I love Olivia, how much we rock with her on this channel. Um, So, guys, I'm excited. I just want to just get right into it. Oh, and I will say, though, also, this video just dropped 17 hours ago. And if there's anything you guys need to know about me, it's a 17 that's my number guys you know I mean? you know you know angel numbers guys like guys that's the ain't that's the real angel number just so you guys know is 17 right this <laughs> hey guys 17 is my number and this dropped 17 hours ago so guys uh, let's just get right into it let me shut up and guys olivia tiny desk let's get into it Guys, I hate to pause it. I never pause. But guys, that guitar that she was playing was so fire. It was the exact same shade of purple as the cover of and as guys, it said sour on the on the on the fucking trust rock cover. Like what? Guys, that guitar is so fire. And she's on her fucking Wednesday Adams shit right now. Hi guys. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Olivia. Thank you so much, NPR, for having me. This is such an honor. Um, we did one of these yes. uh, two years ago, but it was um, knee deep in the pandemic, um, and so we did it at, at the DMV actually. But yeah. it's much cooler to be here. Um, I, I was saying earlier, I've never been starstruck by a room before, so this is a, <laughs> it's a huge honor. Um, that's thank you so much. Hilarious. For being here. Um, that song we just played you is called "Love Is Embarrassing." Uh, it's the last song that I added to my new album, Guts. Um, I wrote it after I had a night. You know when you're like lying in bed and you're just like playing back every embarrassing thing you've ever done and just cringing at yourself? I had one of those nights and um, I woke up the next morning and I sat in my living room and wrote this song. And it was super fun um, and quick um, and uh, I really love that song. The next song I'm about to play 
was not so fun and quick to write. Um, I, uh, mm -hmm. I wrote it, the initial idea, um, kind of, I guess, in like 20 or 30 minutes, but um, my producer and I kind of spent maybe a, a month or two months just polishing and fine tuning, nitpicking over like crazy things like BPM and, you know, chord voicings and making sure each lyric um, was, was perfect for what we wanted to achieve. So, um, yeah, I'm really proud of the way it turned out and um, hope you like it. This one's called Vampire. <laughs> Guys, I have that exact guitar strap right there. <laughs> That was the best performance that I've heard of that song from her. We've heard like 
at least like six different performances already of that song, guys. That was the best one that we've heard so far. That was crazy. Guys, Olivia is a fucking queen. Oh, thank you, guys. Um, Princess. So when I write young, songs, queen. Uh, I don't, she's the most goat. Most of the time, uh, I write fucking lyrics the with melody. I write them simultaneously. Oh, crazy. Um, but for this song That's in particular, crazy. I, um, I don't know it actually started out as a poem. I took um, a poetry class last year at USC, and um, I wrote this poem as one of my homework <laughs> assignments that I really loved. And um, it was the first time I'd ever written a song by taking like a full sheet of lyrics and then putting melody to it. And so... It was a fun experiment for me as a songwriter, and uh, it turned out to be one of my favorite songs on the record. So, here it is. It's called uh, "It's Called Lacey." Yeah! Why didn't everybody clap for Lacey? That's crazy. I can't write lyrics and melody at the same time. I always write melody first. Oh, Lacey, skin like puff pastry. Aren't you the sweetest thing on this side of hell? Dear Angel Lacey, eyes white as daisies Did I ever tell you that I'm not doing well? Ooh, I care, I care, I care Like perfume that you wear, I linger all the time Watching hidden in plain sight Ooh, I try, I try, I try But it takes over my life I see you everywhere The sweetest torture one could wear Smart, sexy, lacy I'm losing it lately I feel your compliments like bullets on skin Dazzling starlit Bartho reincarnate Well, aren't you the greatest thing to ever exist? Ooh, I care, I care, I care Like ribbons in your hair My stomach's all in Got the one thing that I want Ooh, I try, I try, I try Try to rationalize people are people But it's like you're made of it. Even her guitar cable is purple Do you guys know? I don't know if it's covered by the speaker but Her cable is purple <laughs> That's so fire little things, you know, it's a little, the little thing. Serious. she's literally killing this so hard and she always kills it that's how hard she's killing this thank you guys so much this has been so fun um this is my last song no! um, but this has been such an incredible experience thank you to everyone at npr no, thank you to my incredible no, singers my incredible band um this is really a dream come true so can't thank you enough um this last song um <clears throat> i wrote last year in, in new york city um i feel like a big theme on this new album is kind of taking accountability for your actions and, you know, taking responsibility for all of those things. And I wrote this song sort of about feeling like I was putting myself 
in positions or with people that um, weren't bringing me ultimate happiness and peace. And so this song is just sort of my grappling with that. <laughs> Hope you like it. It's called Making the Bed. So it's done. Another thing I ruined. Used to do for fun. Another piece of plastic I could just throw away. Another conversation with nothing good to say. I thought it, so I said it. Took it cause I can. Another day pretending I'm older than I am. Another perfect moment that doesn't feel like mine. Another thing I'm forced to be a sign. Well, sometimes I feel like I don't. Fucking great Olivia Rodrigo. Yes, I said it. The great Olivia Rodrigo. I know. Oh, but she's too young. Oh, she only has two albums. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. She is. Fuck. If you got, if you don't see it, that's not on me. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, your inability to see her greatness is not... That, that's not my problem. Like, <laughs> Support for NPR Shut comes up. from... Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Guys. Like, she is so ridiculous. Like, she's so amazing. Like, 
I, I, if, if you know what I'm saying, like if you don't get it, that I guess you just don't get it. Then I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? That hey, you know what I mean? It's all right. Does you, 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 you can still be a good person. He still does stuff in life, but like you miss, you're, you're missing out somehow. I don't know how you don't get it because she's so absolutely amazing, guys. Like, guys, 17 hours ago, this came out 17 hours ago, guys. You guys, that was amazing. Guys, also someone said felt like a seventeen year old. I said another another seventeen. Guys, did it, did I tell you it was angel numbers or what? Guys, <laughs> guys, that was crazy. That was I think that might be, not even might for sure. Again, we from all the performances that we've seen of her, that was the best one. I think. Not even I think it was right. Like she's had other good ones though. They've all been good. All the ones that we've seen from her have been really good. But that one was just, I don't know. She was on a different level. I don't know if she, she's just. I don't know if it's a combination of her just getting better as she gets more comfortable doing it more and more. And then also maybe because she was just excited to just be in the actual, you know, NPR studios, like the, where they actually do the, where the actual tiny does. Like, but I don't know, but she, she went crazy on that one, guys. That was, uh, I, <laughs> what am I going to say, guys? That was crazy. That was fire. Shout out to everybody, guys. See, I told you I had the same strap, guys. <laughs> Did you guys see that strap? I got the same strap. <laughs> guys, shout out to everybody. Um, we'll be back. It's actually a reproduction strap of a strap that was made in the 60s by a company called Ace. And that strap was famously used by Hendrix and Jimmy Page. Both used that strap. Um, random, but all right, guys, we'll be back. Shout out to everybody. Guys, go check out my real channel with my music. It's in the description. And guys, um, go follow me on IG or Twitter or TikTok or whatever at Inyokutsi, I-N-Y-O-K-U-T-S-E. And guys, we'll be back.